wasn't expecting this. When I took this to the tent to be fumed, it was spitting with rain, which diluted the tannin tea, leaving those spots. A right shame, really. Because look how beautiful that looks with all the colours in there. So I decided just to rub that back to get rid of the spots. And then I painted on some more tannin tea. I'm not kidding you, the fumes still coming off of that. I just left it. was enough to uh, send it dark again, which you'll see later. This will be the last installment of the bit of this build, so it'll just be about the finishing bits. And it'll be including some decoupage for a change, and a mistake that actually worked out in my favour in the end. I will say it now though, instead of at the end and spoil it all, I'm absolutely over the moon with the outcome, even though for all the mistakes that happened with the doors actually made it even better, which was wonderful. But you know, when those ads come on and you're watching YouTube on the TV, I could just look down at that and this beautiful TV cabinet and ignore them. And um, yeah, I, what can I say, I'm over the moon.
I used Osmo Poly X satin all over this. Everything had two coats. Two weeks it's been in my flat and I can still smell the finish curing. It's not as nice as the fresh smell of Osmo. It's a really different smell, which I really dislike. It's the only downside to Osmo. This is what happens when you don't have a design in mind and you spend months procrastinating what's it to be drawers, cupboards, shelves, what? But this way was by far the better solution in the end because we've got hardly any space in the front of it. So, you know, cupboard doors opening up, you're going to hop over them to get into there and all that sort of stuff. As they say, the devil's in the detail. With the shelves, I picked two boards that were in order sequentially in a log. The two knots wasn't, wasn't a mistake. I wanted them to mirror each other, left and right of the cabinet. And when you open each side door, the first thing you'll see is the knot, left or right hand side, almost like you're looking at the same cupboard. As I was ripping these boards for the doors, I, I knew I had boards in there that were from a different log, different tree, probably even a different wood yard. I just knew, I was saying, so if that's a mistake, you know you're going to pay for this. And I was like, nah, she'll be all right. Just crack on, son. Well...
there was ever a router I regret selling on, this is the one. I love this router. It's got a nice light underneath it. It's easy to, to, to control, especially for, for freehand stuff. It's such a great router that I prefer it to my little Festival one. Leaps and bounds better than the Festival one. Well, yeah, the dust extraction isn't anywhere nearly as good as the Festival, but I'll live with that. You can't really put the dust extraction on that and go freehand because you can't see what you're doing. The reason all of this hardware for the doors is having to be rebated is the thickness of the doors is one thing. I wanted thick doors because you'll see later how it works with that wany edge top and how it's important. I also did not want to put the hardware straight onto the back face of the door because that would then push the door, you know, 10, 20 mil away from the shelf, the carcass, which is a huge, great big chasm of a gap, which I wanted hardly anything. I don't really want anything more than like a two mil gap around drawers or doors it'd be nice if you could have them keep completely flush but that's not possible so if you, uh, yeah this is why i'm rebating it all in
Now remember, this is a TV stand, and the star of the show is the top board, not the oak doors. And that's what happens when you mix up your woods, when you're trying to age it using ammonia and tannic acid. So I tried to save the day by staying and trying to match that same colour and depth, which was just impossible. It just came out of flat, dark, dark chocolate. I mean, you could barely even see any wood grain in that, so that pissed me off. I had a few choices, sand all that back and stain it all. But then I realised I'm never going to get into those corners to sand out that dark stain. So I thought if I just remove the very face colour and start again, and then add two different stains, I actually made up my own stain, because there was a lot of reddy brown in the carcass work, which wasn't coming through on these doors. So I made a reddy brown stain and put that on, two coats of that. You could just see that readiness coming through a bit more, but they needed a bit more chocolate colour, just the light going over. Here's where this actually saved the day. If you look at look to camera right, top of the door, you'll see the slats of plain flush. Again, something I didn't want, because I'm losing detail as it's flat and flush. But because of the colour, it's making the, the slats pop more in the flush area. Pretty sure, hope, hope that makes sense. So, slip your pants off and let's take a listen to the final product. So if you like the cut of my jib, please like and subscribe, share if you're really feeling kinky, and uh, we'll see each other again. Be lucky.